Hey everybody, this is Nick over at Keller Williams in Topeka. Um, I am going to share my screen real quick and we are going to go over the uh, market stats for um, January through the end of April. So um, I was kind of looking over these numbers before I started the Zoom to record. Uh, and I was actually a little bit surprised. And then I started kind of thinking about some of the transactions we have going right now. And I'm actually really not surprised at all. So down here, we'll start with uh, the very typical um, Topeka home, right? Three to four bedrooms is kind of the average that we sell around here. There were there have been 872 of them listed, but only 683 of them have sold at a 78, almost 79%. The average list price was 223. The average sold price was 219. So that shows me that appraisers are out there kind of resetting the market. And that's good for buyers and not so good for sellers because, you know, back in 2021, early 2022, when, you know, the, the inflation just hit the home prices really fast and really hard you know the uh, houses were selling way over what they you know the value what should have been or what we assumed it should have been um and now we're seeing that appraisers are starting to correct that market because uh you know on even these uh these one to two beds right the average list price is 120 but the average sales price is 114 three to four bed 223 average sales price is 219 five bedrooms 362 with an average sales price at 356. So across the board, anything one bedroom up, I mean, any house that sells, uh, we're seeing an average sales price of less than what the average list price is. So um, like I said, not so good for the seller because the seller is not seeing um, quite the return that they were hoping to see, especially if they've been watching the market since 2020 through 2022. But for the buyer, it's a good thing because now, you know, us in our negotiations, we're being we're able to get houses for a little bit less. Or if we get it for asking price, the what we're seeing is appraisals are coming back and saying, you know, the house really isn't worth exactly what your buyer's paying for it. And then the seller's having to drop the price or the buyer's having to come up with the extra money if that's something they agreed to um, up front. So um the market's just been, it's still really crazy hot. The houses really aren't sitting on the market um, a super long time. Uh, and I can kind of see back here, we've got our entire boards filled up. And then we've actually even had to go down here to the another mark or a whiteboard as well. Um, when we got back from vacation last week, um, at one point we had 21 pending units. And that's the most we've ever had. Um, but the momentum is really not stopping there. We've got a few more listings hitting the market this week. Um, we know that some of them are going to be under contract by the end of the week. So, uh, you know, the market's still there. Uh, you know, don't let these numbers down here scare you too much because that's, you know, the Topeka average. Um, I'll try to do some number crunching and figure out, you know, what ours looks like, you know, what's what's our average list price and versus sales price and kind of give you guys those numbers as well. Uh, so we can kind of see because, you know, Luckily for us, our houses haven't been coming in under value too much. And if they are, it's it's a little bit. Um, and I think that's because we do our research up front. You know, we're not going to tell you that your house is worth something it's not if we go to list it. You know, we're very open and honest people. And uh, and I think that's why we our, our listings sell so fast is because we price them at what the market tells us that the house is going to sell for. Uh, we're not going to you know, overshoot your house just so it sits on the market for four months and then never sells. Our goal is to uh, to get under contract as soon as possible with the best possible offer so that way you get the most amount of money in your pocket. So um, again, if you guys are looking to buy, sell, invest in real estate, you know how to get a hold of me. You know how to get a hold of Shannon. You can get a hold of Jenna. Uh, contact Katie, however uh, and whoever we are here to help you. So uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.